Hi everybody, this is Sonia, and this is my cross stitch floss tube video for Sunday, April the 8th, 2016. And I want to wish everybody a happy Mother's Day, and that I hope you will have a wonderful day today. Um, I have my, I have three whips to show you. I have one finish and I have some haul to show you. I will show you the haul at the end of the video. Um, the haul is from Listia and I have some more things coming in from there as well. So in my next cross stitch video I will show you some other things that have not come in yet. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I want to show you is my finish. And it's not fully finished yet. I will be getting to that during the next two weeks I will be finishing. So my finish is the Mills Hill Winter Holiday Collection Rain Dog. And he is finished. He is finished. And I will be putting him together during these next two weeks, and then I will show you um, the fully finished. But there he is. And like I've said before, I didn't think I would like to do these kind of kits, but I'm fascinated with them. I love doing the beads. So I will pro you'll probably be seeing a lot more of these from me because I really, really enjoy them. And then the next one that I want to show you that I'm working on is the Kitty's Gift. I didn't get it finished, so I wasn't able to start my new start. But here is the cat, the cat one. I'm doing the beading now. The cat is done, so I'm going around and I'm doing all the beading on her. And then she will have, I will be making a little Santa hat. And here is what it will look like. And this is Mills Hill as well. So the, like I said, those are so much fun. I love doing those beading kits. And of course, when I get done, with the cat and get them all put together. Then I, my new start will be Munchkin's cross stitch. That will be that one. That is one that I will be starting when I finish the Mill Hill kits. Okay, so on to my whips. Okay. The first one I want to show you is the Design Connection Incorporated Scroll Work and Lace. And this is coming along slowly. I work on it every time it comes up in the rotation. I work on it, but it's, it's just slow going. So here is what I have done. I am starting, I'm going around to do the outside, the background part of it. And then I will go in and I will go around the plate. There's like a gold trim that goes around the plate. I will finish the plate off. 
and then back stitch anything else that needs to be back stitched and it should be done. There's not a whole lot left to it. It's just very, very slow going. So that's where I am with that. It would be nice if this could be a finish on my next one, but I don't think I don't think I'm going to get that accomplished. I'm going to try because in all actuality there is not a whole lot left to do on it. Basically the background. So I'll see. I will see if I can get it accomplished or at least most of it. Now the next one I want to show you is Rosie. And there is Rosie. Now on Rosie I have all, the, all of this done. I have this square done. I have this square done right to the brown under her eye. Done. Now I'm going to be starting right here on this goldish color and going across. And then I'll be starting a new page. I do that today. And then all I have left to do is the three boxes down there. And she is done. Okay, I'm zooming in close because I need to ask a question. And if anybody, you know, has a thought on this, please leave it in the comments below. Okay. This, okay, see her eyes. This eye has, like, you know, the light color in it. This side does not. Okay, that's how, you know, the picture looks that I took. What, I don't know, it kind of bothers me a little bit. I was just wondering what everybody thought about if I added the light color over here on this eye. Do you think that would make the eye look a little better or should I just leave it alone? So that's my question. So if anybody, you know, has done something like that and, you know, just let me know what you guys think. If you think it would look good or if you think I should just leave it as it is. And here is where I'm at. This would probably give you a better idea. Okay, this is, you know, then here's the eye that I was talking about. Do you think it would look good to add the light color that is like in this one where the pupil is to add, add it about right, you know, in here, right about the same distance as the other one? Or if I should just leave it alone? So any help would be appreciated. But there I am getting ready down here to do, finish up and then this over here is going to be a new box and then I'll be able to start the bottom rows and she will be done. So, and this is worked on 14 count Desert Sand Ada. I'm really loving that color. And the scroll work and lace was done on 14 count cremata. So, yeah. So I think I'm going to be getting to some finishes before too much longer. On Rosie, I can get three um, of the boxes, you know, 10 by 10 little boxes, I can get three of those done in a day by working on them throughout the day. Um, which has really helped since I have done my floss the way I do. Like when I was done with her on Thursday, 
what I did was I went through the next three boxes and I went ahead and I got all the floss for the next three boxes together in my baggie. So like this. So all of the all the colors are there and they're right in front of me and I don't have to dig through 40 or 50 colors to try to find it. It's all there. I can just lay them out and I can you know, and that has saved me so much time. I was only able to get two boxes before I started doing that. So that's my whips and my one finish and my start that I will be starting hopefully before my next floss tube video after I finish the cat and get them all put together. Then I will start on that. Okay, so now I'm going to show you my haul that I got from listia.com. Um, and, you know, if you're interested in finding some, you know, great cross-stitch stuff, it might not be the most current things, but they do, you know, if they have a lot of, pro you know, projects and um, patterns that, you know, you could take and you know, convert. You know, maybe you don't have to do all of them exactly as they're shown. But, you know, give Listy a try. Go on there and just look around the site and, you know, put in the search, just put cross stitch and everything cross stitch will come up there for you. Okay, so the first thing that I got was Diane Gra Gragner designs and it is this middle they're little Amish girls that I'm going to be doing and let me see This is done on 18 count Ada, this project. But I really, really liked those little Amish girls there. So I got this. And I got a Eeyore ornament from the Pooh collection to work on. And it's a kit. It comes with everything that I will need. I just thought that was adorable. So I got that. And then I got this Flower Fairies of the Spring. And it's by Green Apple Company. And it's the Wood Sorrel Fairy. And I just love that. That is so adorable. And this will also be worked on 18 count Ada. But I just love that. See your little wings. So I got that. And then I got an old cross stitch and Country Crafts magazine. This is 1988. And there was some like I like this cat. And what I would do is I would probably just leave off the memos, do the cat picture, and then maybe make some X's, little X's behind they're just to add something make it look maybe like wallpaper or something maybe behind the cat but I like that and I like this sampler with the sheep be perfect for like you know knitters crocheters 
And if anybody that works with the wool. So I like that. They have some cute stuff in here. Like I said, some of it might, you know, you might have to rework. Because like I said, the magazine's 1988. That's really pretty. The bench with the flowers and everything around it. That one's really pretty. Let me see. And this, I am thinking about doing. Um, just not in the form that they have it. This one about cross stitchers right here. I just think that is absolutely adorable. And what it says is cross stitchers make every minute count. And then it has, you know, the floss and all of that coming off of it. So I'm probably going to do that because I really, really like that. And let me see. And that was all on that. Oh, I'm back here. The Christmas, the reindeer, and the Santa Claus. Both adorable. So, I got that magazine. And then I got... whole bunch of, and like I said again, they are older patterns. So I got one from Laura J. Conley. It's called Sweet Sayings. I got that. And then I got Cross Quick, Easy Projects for Cross Stitch Lovers. And I have people that like to fish in my family, and I thought that was really, I really like that one. Let me see, I don't think, oh, these little inserts, they do have one that says World's Best Stitcher on it, and it's right there. So I might make one of those. Uh, let me see. There's any... Oh, here's a whole bunch of the Santas. That you can make in different ways. And then here's another one I might do for stitchers. Right down there. It's really pretty. That one says, the stitcher with needle and thread, she plies the art of Making Beauty for the Heart. So that's what that one says. But, yeah. So I got that one. And then here's one called Yester Dreams. And this is from the Stony Creek Collection. And there is some really cute... things in this one. Yeah, so I got the front too and then the back. And then I got Yorktown Garden by Nancy Fields. It's from Needles and Company. 
It's just different flowers. And then one called, it's from Jeremiah Junction. It's Plain and Fancy Folk One. so can't show you any, any close-up and then here's one called make it nostalgic it's just a leaflet and can't show you inside that one either the leaflets so here's another one a simple elegance Here's one called Country Folks from Country Cross Stitch Incorporated. I like some of these, like the horse or the donkey, I mean, or not donkey, it's probably a mule, but there, and then back here. Let me see if there's any in color. Oh, here's some more. There's that one, and then there's damask or damask designs. And Rainbow Book One. These all have, you know, some cute things in them that I would probably do some of them. Like I said, not all of them. And there's nothing in there that I can show you. And then this is for parents. There's two things about parents saying. And then the wooden hoop by Rose Ann Hobbs. Country Lovin' by Dill Burdett. A lot of really small things that wouldn't take a whole lot of time to do. I'm trying to see if there's any nope, pictures in there. And then Many Wishes by Peggy Wellman. These are just really tiny, one of those quick stitch type. Things. And then there's Leisure Arts Quick Kitchen Projects, inexpensive to finish. Has some really cute little designs in there. And here's some more on the back. Oh, yeah, there's some in here. Well, no. No, I can't show you. They're in color. So, but they're the pattern. And then jar lids, charted for cross stitch. Some of these are really cute. And I have two more. Um, Leisure Art Alphabet Album. And I really, really like this. 
even though I can't show you. I'll just do it really, really quickly so you guys can see. It's just filled with different alphabet. Different alphabet patterns in there. So I really like that. So there's this. And then the back. Just gives you ideas of how you can use the alphabet. But I really like the, you know, it's different designs in there. And then the last one is around the house. And there is some really cute ones in here as well. Really cute design. And yeah, it's all perfect. So that was my little haul from Listia.com. And like I said, I do have some more things coming from them as well. Um, and you know, I would highly recommend them. Um, I've gotten everything that I have won on there. Um, there is no money involved, no money changes hands. The only thing is, if you want to buy credits to use on there, then, you know, you, do, you can, you know, purchase credits, you know, otherwise you can sell things on there or, you know, whatever, but money never changes hands. It's all done on a on a credit system. So say that you won an item and you had 20,000 credits and the item you won was 10,000 credits. Well, they would take the 10,000 credits out of your 20,000, 20, leaving you 10,000 credits to you know, bid on something else. So that's how it works. It's very similar to eBay, but it's money doesn't change hands. So anyway, that is all I have for this time. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I just want to remind everybody that if you do have a suggestion about the eye, that one eye, um, please leave it in the comment section below. I, I mean, the eye is okay, but it's just, I feel like there needs to be something there. It's just like a black, you know, like mass there. That, and I just thought that maybe it would look better to have a little bit of the light color in it. So let me know what you guys think about that or if I should just leave it alone and not worry about it. So anyway, um, that is it for now. I want to thank everybody so much for watching, subscribing, commenting, liking, and sharing my videos. I do appreciate it so much, and I appreciate all of you. I appreciate all of you that, you know, have supported me throughout these years, and that continue to come back and watch my videos and comment on them. I love reading the comments. I love answering the comments. And, um, anyway, I hope everybody has a great Sunday, a great Mother's Day, and have a great week. And until next time, everybody have a great day.